Welcome to today's video. Today we're taking a look at this year's new product from Continental, the Premium Contact 7. First, let's take a look at Continental's current range of summer passenger car tires. The most fuel-efficient model is the Eco Contact 6, which competes in part with the newer Ultra Contact, but which also focuses more on electric and hybrid vehicles. In general, both tires are aimed at high mileage and reducing car fuel consumption. The imaginary center of the range is the Premium Contact 7, which belongs to the Touring Tire category. For downright sporty driving, there's the Sport Contact 7, a new addition to the Ultra Performance UUHB tire group that performs very well in tests, offering very dynamic driving characteristics while still being usable for everyday use. So the Premium Contact is not a tire for sporty experiences, the main focus here is on safety and comfort, where it should be the best in the Continental range. And the technologies used are in line with this. Continental designed the tread pattern for each car group separately, also because of the variety of cars and their weight in the context of the growing popularity of electric mobility. As a result, it is able to provide high grip and short braking distances across all sizes, which range from R16 to R21. Another technology used is the adaptive tread design, which adapts to the road conditions and can thus provide excellent grip in dry cornering, but also efficiently shed water when driving in the wet. Another safety technology used is Red Chili, which ensures high grip even in cooler temperatures, which is important for European climates. And the focus on safety is confirmed by the tests. To date we have a total of three tests available. Autobuild, where the premium contact came third, ACE, where it came second, and tire reviews, where it won. The Autobuild and ACE tests were conducted in the larger R18 size, which is where the competition differs from the smaller R16 size tested by tire reviews. In the larger sizes, it competes keenly with the Michelin Pilot Sport 5 and especially the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 6, which offers a slightly more affordable price point as well as better durability, something the Autobuild tests put a lot of emphasis on and is not considered in the ACE test. While the Continental had the best results in wet in the ACE test, it was a few points behind the winning Goodyear in dry handling and noise, which led to the second place. Otherwise, the tires are very similar in performance, with all three offering great dry handling and being safe in the wet. In contrast, in the smaller R16 size they had virtually no competition. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget that you can get recommendations for your tire size on our thetirelab.com website, including current special offers on test-proven tires. We look forward to seeing you again next time.